Germany is known for its culture, historic places, and after 2011, Alexander Zverev. The German tennis player achieved the highest ranking of number three and has been a prominent fixture in the top 10 since July 2017. His career highlights include titles at the 2018 and the 2021 ADP Finals and 2020 Tokyo Olympics. He's the only active player outside of the Big Four with five ADP Masters 1000 titles. Zverev has won 19 ADP titles in singles and two in doubles. He reached his first major final at the 2020 US Open, finishing runner-up to Dominic Thiem. Welcome to the Rich Rabbit, and today we'll be talking about the journey of Alexander Zverev. But before you join us on the journey, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon. Zverev's parents are Alexander Mikhailovich Zverev Sr., born on January 22, 1960 in Sochi, and Irina Zverva, born on April 11, 1967. His father is a former professional tennis player from the Soviet Union who was ranked world number 175 in 1985. He moved to Germany in 1991 with his wife. Zwerer's mother, Irina, is also a former professional tennis player from the Soviet Union. She was ranked world number 380 in 1993. She has German citizenship. As a youngster, Zwerev grew up playing field hockey, football and tennis. But as he got older, he focused solely on tennis. Zverev started his professional career in 2013, at the age of 16, having been ranked the number one junior in the world. Coached by his parents, Zverev recorded some successes on the junior tour, winning the 2014 Junior Australian Open. He followed it up with better performances in 2015, breaking into the ADP Top 100 ranking and finishing the year as the youngest player in the Top 100. Zverev won his first ADP Tour title in 2016, defeating Stan Wawrinka to win the St. Petersburg Open. 2017 was an amazing year for Zverev as he won two ADP Masters 1000 titles in grand style. He defeated the then world number one and title favorite Novak Djokovic to win the Italian Open. In doing so, he became the youngest player to win such a tournament since a 19-year-old Djokovic did so in 2007. Zverev, who's popularly known as Sashka, followed it up with yet another victory over another heavyweight. He defeated none other than Roger Federer in the final of the Rogers Cup, and further won titles in Montpellier, Washington and Munich. Zverev has won 19 titles on the ADP Tour. This includes five Masters 1000 titles in Rome and Canada in 2017, in Madrid in 2018 and 2021, and in Cincinnati also in 2021. He won his first title in St. Petersburg in 2016, and he won six titles in 2021, including the Olympics and the ADP Finals. He became the first German man to win an Olympic gold medal since Boris Becker and Michael Stisch won doubles gold in 1992. Zverev beat world number one Djokovic to reach the final, and then saw off Russia's Karen Kashanov to clinch the gold. Zverev started 2020 with a ranking of number seven in the world. He was seeded seventh at the 2020 Australian Open. He first defeated Marco Cecinato in straight sets. After the match, he pledged to donate all his prize money from the tournament to relief efforts for the ongoing bushfires if he won the title. A total of Australian dollars, 4.12 million. He then defeated Igor Gerasimov, Fernando Verdasco and Andrei Rublev to reach the quarterfinals without dropping a set. There he defeated 15th seed Wawrinka in four sets to reach his first Grand Slam single semi-final where he lost against 5th seed Dominic Thiem in 4 sets. At the US Open, Zverev was seeded 5th. He defeated Kevin Anderson in 4 sets, then beat 19-year-old Brandon Nakashima in 4 sets. In the 3rd round, he beat Adrian Manarino in 4 sets before beating Alejandro Fokina in straight sets. 
In the quarterfinals, he beat Borna Koric in four sets to reach his second Grand Slam semi-final. There, he lost the first two sets to Pablo Carino Busta, but came back to win the match in five. This was his first ever match win from two sets down. He thus advanced to his first major final where he faced Dominic Thiem. He became the runner-up, losing the final in a final set tiebreaker, despite leading by two sets and twice coming within two points of the title in the final set. In October, he won two consecutive ADP 250 events in Cologne, which took place in the 2020 ADP Tour because of the cancellation of several tournaments due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In the finals, he defeated Diego Schwartzman in straight sets. Zverev then reached the final of the Paris Masters, beating Nadal in straight sets in the semis but losing to Daniel Medvedev in three sets. In the ADP finals, Zverev was eliminated in the group stage after a three-set win over Diego Schwartzman and straight-set losses to Djokovic and the eventual champion Medvedev. Zverev began his 2021 season in February with the ADP Cup. There, he represented Germany with Jan Leonard Struff, Kevin Kreivitz, and Andreas Mies to reach the semi finals. In his first Grand Slam appearance at the 2021 Australian Open, he defeated Marcos Hiron, Maxime Cressy, Adrian Manorino, and Dusan Lajovic. His run ended in the quarterfinals where he lost to the eventual champion and world number one Djokovic. In March, his first tournament was in Rotterdam, where he lost in the first round to Kazakh Alexander Bublik. He continued his performances in Acapulco, where he won his 14th ADB title by defeating Greek Stefanos Tsitsipas in the final. At the tournament in Miami, he lost in the second round to Finland's Emil Rusovori. At the Olympics, Zverev beat Yan Sun Liu, Daniel Ilahi Galan, Nikolos Basilashvili, and Jeremy Chardy to reach the semi finals. The semis, despite being a set and a breakdown against Djokovic, Zverev rallied to break back and won eight games in a row on his way to win in three sets. He defeated Karen Kashyanov in straight sets in the final to claim the Olympic gold medal. Zverev became the first German man to win a gold medal in singles and the first to win a medal since Tommy Haas won his silver medal at the 2000 Sydney Olympics. At the US Open, Zverev sought to claim his first major title following his run to the final the previous year. He reached the semi-finals following wins over Jack Sock and Lloyd Harris. There he lost to Djokovic in five sets ending his career-high 16-match win streak stretching back to the Olympics. For a fifth successive season, Zverev qualified for the 2021 ADP Finals in Turin as the third seed. He played in the Red Group. He began his campaign by defeating home favorite Matteo Berrettini, who retired with an injury. On his way to the title, he defeated the top two seeds Djokovic and Medvedev in the semi-finals and finals respectively. Due to this win, he became the only player who's active to have won multiple ADP Finals titles other than Djokovic and Federer, with five and six respectively. Zverev is coached by his father. The German hired David Ferrer to work alongside his father in July 2020. The pair split in January 2021. Zverev had earlier also worked with former world number one Juan Carlos Ferrero in July 2017, but their collaboration lasted only six months. Zverev then integrated Ivan Landl into his team in August 2018. The former world number one spent one year as a part of the German's team. In 2020, Zverev's ex-girlfriend, Brenda Patia reveals she was 20 weeks pregnant with the German's child, but planned to raise the child alone. At the same time, allegations of domestic abuse from another ex-girlfriend, Olga Sharapova, surfaced. The German addressed both in a social media post in October 2020, and several times during the 2020 Paris Masters, 
and is denied any wrongdoing. In October 2021, the ADP announced an investigation into the allegations and Zwerev reiterated his denials. Zwerev became a father on March 11, 2021, when his baby daughter with Patea was born. Zwerev has won more than $30 million in prize money, as of January 2022, according to the official ADP website. He has made millions of his career, and is not afraid to spend his heart on money on things that he could enjoy while off the court. Zwerev does not spend his money on jewelry or houses, but has spent quite a lot of money on cars. Zwerev has an extensive list of car collection, and his most recent addition to his car collection is the Peugeot 508 GT, which is prized at over $46,000. It has become his go-to vehicle when moving through places. Besides Peugeot, he also owns expensive cars from the BMW brand. In his collection also lies the BMW i8, which he won in one of his tournaments. Aside from those two, he has also owned Mercedes E300 AMG, worth over $57,000, and a Chevrolet Suburban, which cost $65,000. And with that, we're going to take a hike. But we sure hope that you liked the video and found it informative. And if you did, then, well, you know the drill. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon. Your valuable suggestions are very important to us, so do post them in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video.